going on, guys? Coach Malik here. What was it? Tips for like life success or something like that. Nardo was giving me good tips. Um, the best tip that he gave me today: listen to your heart and gut. For anyone who's watching, if you want to do anything in your life, just go do it. Listen to your heart. Listen to your gut. What Nardo told me is that your mind is going to, if you think about it too much, is to tell you not to do it. So just do it. What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome Great. to the Coach Malik, Malik Show. Great. My name is Malik Benin, and uh, I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. And uh, you guys were retainers too? Am I the only one? Um, I, I want this series to be about rebirth. So I want it to be more than just fitness, right? You guys saw my last video, I'm into music, I love music. I'm into other things. I'm into business, I'm into sports, I'm into entertainment. I wrote it all down right there. God, I'm creating a plan. It's freaking 2045 over here. I'm creating a plan. Um, I ain't playing around no more. I ain't playing around. Um, but what I wanna do is just rebirth, right? If you wanna start a new career, if you wanna start something new, if you wanna start music, if you wanna start vlogging, if you wanna start, you know, whatever, these are the things I'm gonna be talking about way more in these vlogs. There's a little back, a little background. I used to do music when I was first started in school. Like you start with the recorder, and then you start with the trumpet. I went to trumpet after that. Saxophone, the tenor saxophone. The viola. I was always in music. I, when I was growing up, you know, I had an older brother, he was about 30, 30, or not at the time, he's 12 years older than me. Uh, he was uh, always into like hip hop rap, you know. Um, gangster rap. We, were, we grew up in the Bay Area, so it was all like Mac Dre, uh, San Quinn, E40, you know, these guys, Q Shore, um, Andre Nicotina was more of his area or more of his time, Tupac for sure. You know, these guys were big influences of my life um, because they were his. Because my older brother, you know, I'm looking up to him, so I'm going to look up to his music. And uh, that's what I fell in love with was the truth behind the lyrics, was the beat, was the feeling you got. I was a super shy kid. I was shy, I didn't wanna to talk to anybody, but what music did or what hip hop did was it gave me that that call, that confidence or that feeling of the confidence and I loved that. I loved that because I was always, you know, either called a pussy, I was always scared of shit, I was shy. Dude, it was, like I swear, uh, people don't believe me like, because I'm doing this video stuff, but this took a long time for me to get used to being on the camera like this. Yeah, yo, know, this is Malik. He's the great new trainer here. He's gonna get me in shape on my birthday. He's gonna let you say something. You know, by, by April 23rd, you're gonna see this guy new and improved. He is not gonna look like this. You, you will see him. You will see him new and improved. You will see a new guy here. You will not see him. You will see the brand new Nardo. All right. Hit me. What's up, guys? It's March hey. 27th. The Nardo said his arms were kind of sore this morning, so uh, we went more of, uh, on the legs. Um, killed it with some cardio at the end. Uh, what I'm trying to do? Yeah. Nardo's we, a little. We trying to do, Malik. We trying to do. Nardo's a little. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's thinking about it. I don't know. He's he's being a little questionable, but training for for a while. So yeah, yeah. everyone motivate him to keep training. Yeah. Motivate him to keep coming in. Yeah. Do it for him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do it for him. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Black King. Peace out, man. Turn it on. Alright. Come on. You're on. Alright, what's up, everybody? Back here with Nada. Got my game face on. <laughs> um, today we had a good day. Ran. It was kind of cold outside, but we kind of warmed up the body. He, he kept his heavy jacket on, so he was actually holding on a lot more weight. We ran to, um, about two miles today. Rested. Walked down to like the water area. Kind of looked at the water. Talked about life. Um, I told Nada to write a book. Tips. Tips. What's it called? Tips for success, or like, what was it? Tips for like life success, or something like that. Nardo was giving me good tips. Um, the best tip that he gave me today: listen to your heart and gut. For anyone who's watching, if you want to do anything in your life, just go do it. Listen to your heart, listen to your gut. What Nardo told me is that your mind is going to, if you think about it too much, is to tell you not to do it. Just do it. That's what he said. You think about something, just go ahead and do it. So I'm just passing that along. Everyone encourage. I want to start talking more. I'm not one dimensional. You, you guys who know me. You know Malik, I'm not motherfucking one I meant to know. So what I want to do is start adding my other uh, aspects into this. I have created a story, I've created um, what I want kind of this vlog to not end up being, it's gonna end up being whatever it ends up being because of you guys, but I want it to be more about just fitness. And I know I didn't really explain that in my last video, so I wanted to explain it in this one. 
um, while I get ready to leave uh, my house. But hopefully that kind of gives you an understanding. So if you want to continue with the channel, you know what's coming up. If you don't want to listen to me talk about music or talk about any of the other stuff, you just want fitness, look at the tabs. I'll try to organize my channel. So when you come to my channel, you'll be able to be like, all right, this is you know either strictly fitness or this is mostly fitness. So follow along if you want, follow the journey. Along the way, I'll be posting you know, uh, things that I go to. So if I go to music events, if I go to concerts, like last night. <laughs> bottom of the hill and uh, I didn't perform but my buddies performed I'm learning right I'm still learning so I filmed some of that I'll put that on here um, and then obviously the fitness stuff will be normal but the things about these vlogs is that I want to produce so much content right but it gets to the point where it's like dude what have I not said about fitness like what have I not said and like, I can always say it again but like you guys see like they're starting to, I'm starting to go and say the same things over and over again so I was like, all right, like I want to start talking more about what the things I really do want to talk about, which is, you know, music, which is business, because I do love business too. I don't really talk about that a lot, um, which is producing uh, videos, at movies, at, um, not action, acting, acting. So these things I really enjoy. I'll talk to, you, I'll talk more about them on this channel. And uh, guys, I'm learning. You know, I'm learning with you. I'm not perfect. Um, I don't plan to be perfect, but each step along the way. Um, I'm learning a lot and I want to share my learnings with you so that you can uh, learn from my mistakes and not have to go through them as well. All right. Coach Malik here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the next segment of this video and I will talk to you very soon. All right. So just finished the workout. Of course I've messed up the link. Um, it's fixed now. If you wanna go grab a sweatshirt, they're super comfy. I'm not just saying that. I made them 27.57, so they weren't super expensive, like 40 bucks. That was how they normally were, was 40 bucks. And I turned it down to 27.57, just so you guys can get them, because I want my name out there. That's the selfish part. Um, but they are cheaper right now. They will be going up to 40 bucks, probably in like two weeks. I'm not gonna do it anytime soon. I'm not like a, it's gonna happen then. It'll happen like once, the people I want to get the sweatshirts are done getting the sweatshirt and then I'll raise it to 50 or 40 bucks. I think thank you guys for the ones who already did get the sweatshirt. Appreciate you guys so much. And for the ones who are about to get it, I can't appreciate you guys anymore. Again, this is how I make my living. So, uh, it means the world to me that you were to even debate getting a sweatshirt. So thank you. What's going on guys. Coach Malik here. I'm going to mentally bring you into this bicep curl exercise. What you want to do when you do the bicep curl is what I just told Jonathan is when you're curling, you want to think about your form on the first 50% of the set, right? Focus on your form, get really good at the form. The second half of the set, you really want to focus on the muscle. Squeeze the bicep, stretch the bicep. Squeeze the bicep, stretch the bicep. My first half, first half only focusing on the actual form, so I make sure that mechanically I'm right. Mechanically, I'm doing the proper things. I'm able to ride the bike, technically. When I focus on the bicep, is when I'm focusing on that mind-muscle connection, when I'm focusing on, all right, how can my body and my mind connect? I'm focusing on the bicep, focusing on the stretching. The focus you have on that is the same focus where, instead of just riding the bike, now you're doing tricks on the bike, right? Now you're doing tricks with your bicep, you're doing tricks with your body. Not tricks, but you get what I mean. Use your mind 
in your workouts, focus on the things that you're working out, and I promise you that you're gonna see more change in that area when you focus on it. Try it out, let me know if you have tried this in the past or what you think about it in the comments down below.